Well, has your New Year's resolutions to lose weight already hit a roadblock? Robert Ferguson, a well-respected voice of weight loss through healthy eating, joins us this morning with some helpful tips. We were just talking. It's not like you have to deprive yourself of some of those good things. Exactly. I mean, you can literally eat all the foods that you grew up eating. Actually, the foods that probably cause you to gain weight, gain weight, but you can eat them in a way that actually helps you lose the weight. Okay, explain. How do we do that? Well, it's all about really optimizing what we call your glycemic profile, okay. basically keeping your blood sugar levels even. Okay. So you've heard of, like, the glycemic index. Yeah. Well, certain foods are looked at as bad because they're high on the glycemic index because they affect your blood sugar levels somewhat negatively. However, if you eat the foods in the right combination, you could have your potato, with your protein, you know, whether it's steak or ribs or whatever you want, and a slow carb, you know, whether it's veggies, combine them in the right way and you actually can eat the foods you want and lose all the weight you want. So, okay, when you're saying that, how do you combine? How, how do you know how many carbs are okay? Like, let's take the breakfast, the waffle. Mm, the doesn't fruit. that waffle look good? It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, your waffle, so that's a basic portion size of a waffle. Okay. So if you have the waffle, which is your fast carb, okay. and I topped it with some slow carbs. See, berries are your friend. So they're a slow carb. Whereas if I were to put bananas on top, even though bananas are healthy, the bananas are a fast carb with the waffle fast carb. That would cause my body to go into fat storing mode. Okay. But by putting berries on top, I still get the fruit, and then your protein is your eggs. Okay. And combining them that way actually is ideal for your body composition. And how many times a day are you saying to eat? Or is, is all of this a one day, well, besides the entire pie? But. Well, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> well, we don't want to eat the whole pie, but what we can do is we want to maximize our metabolism by eating at least three meals a day and snacking around that. So that means you wake up, have breakfast, snack, uh, lunch, snack, and you're basically eating all the way up until one hour before bed. What? That's good to know. <laughs> and you're losing weight. That's the key is that you're actually losing weight. So you can still eat carbs. You could still be okay. And we were just talking. Of course, I see the wine over here. I'm a like, little you wine. can still drink on this diet. <laughs> a little wine is fine. Because, look, the reality is if you take out the things that you love, right. even if you do a diet, you're going to lose the weight. But then what are you going to do? You're going to be left hanging. And so you go back to the things that you feel you are deprived of. So what I do and have done for many years is teach people how to eat the things and drink the things that they enjoy, but do it in a way where they actually reduce their waistline. And you were saying you actually met a lady 21 days. Yes. Right now we had a lady recently who uh, actually the, did the program. In the first 21 days, she dropped 21 pounds. And we did that nationally. It was on the Monique show, okay. which she has a late night show. And on that show, we grabbed the lady out of the audience. Her name's Ebony. And for 21 days, she followed the program. 21 days later, she's 21 pounds lighter. How do we learn more about this program? Uh, we have a lot of free recipes and information at myfoodlovers.com. Okay, we'll get that on our <laughs> website. So we'll remember that. Thank you so much. A pleasure oh, thank to you. meet you. Same. A pleasure.